All right, WXC fans, this is Harley the Sweet Wallen on the ones and twos with my buddy Josh. And Josh, talk to me about what just happened there. That was a great intro, wasn't it? Yeah, Tommy T, man, super talented kid, uh, beautiful display of uh, you know musical talent. That was an awesome, awesome performance. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna just say this. That was that was the second time he's introduced us for WXC, his first pro show. And uh, yeah, by the way, Josh, we're here for our first WXC pro show. What do you got to say about that? Uh, man, I'm super excited. It's it's beautiful to see how far uh, WXC has come along from the amateur ranks to putting on uh, what is um, arguably one of the best pro shows of the year, um, with top to bottom, you know, extremely exciting bouts. So, uh, man, I'm just I'm just you know, blessed to be able to call the action alongside you, Harley. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree. This is a great opportunity, but, you know, this is a long time coming at the same time yes. because, you know, WXC has been the top promotion for amateur MMA for a, a, a long time. They've been sitting on top, and it, it, this was the right way to go. And, and I really want to say super excited for us to be here today. Yeah, definitely. And one of the nice things about tonight's card is you get to see some of the guys who have come up through the WXC amateur ranks and uh, some are making their pro debut, some are uh, professional veterans, but it's come full circle uh, and it's, what better place to have it than at Crystal Gardens, kind of like the genesis of the WXC. Absolutely, yeah, and, and we have a kind of a funny first fight of the night uh, because of some of the things that happened. This uh, Kevin Jaden, who's making his way to the cage right now, was actually originally rumored to be fighting Eric Moon and, uh, and um, there was some difficulties in getting that bout uh, uh, agreed upon. And now we have Kevin Jaden fighting Damian Norris. And uh, I, I think this is going to be an interesting fight for sure. Kevin Jaden has got a record of 9-19. So he's a guy who can win, who's obviously got some power in his hands. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he takes his and losses. Now, introducing to you his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Damian Norris. Yeah, um, with uh, 19, you know, 19 losses, Jaden's at a position where it's um, he's at a turning point in his career. He really needs a win here, whereas Norris is just, you know, looking to snowball an undefeated record, uh, looking to improve the 4-0, coming out of Chicago, making the trip over here to Michigan. Um, it's got to be super confident. Um, it'll be interesting to see if it's going to be, uh, you know, Norris's abilities or perhaps Jaden's experience that uh, takes the cake here. Yeah, you know, from from seeing uh, you know some of the Damien's tapes, from watching him coming in, it's a pretty complete fighter. It's not going to be an easy easy matchup. Uh, great gym, you know, the MTC. It's a strong gym out of Chicago, so uh, I'm looking for big things here. Definitely, uh, with three wins. All three wins have uh, come via finish, you know. So no decisions, two knockouts, one submission. So that harks back to what you were speaking with regards to uh, Norris's uh, well-roundedness. Yeah, and Kevin does not look to be, I mean, even though he's six foot tall, he's not a big 170. Oh, definitely not. Whereas uh, from my my view in the cage, uh, or outside of this cage rather, Norris looks like a pretty pretty solid 170. Yeah, he's a, he's a solid 170, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, this, this is a tough matchup for, for Kevin. And then the thing with, with someone like Kevin, you know, he has nine wins in the pro ranks, so you can't take nothing away from him. But he becomes... Uh, you know, you got to be real careful as a pro because when if you start losing bouts, you know, your future matchups become more and more either set up for yeah. someone to get their win through you, and which makes your ability to gain that win harder and harder. Yeah, you never you never want to you know discount a guy, but you know, like you said, with with when your losses start to get up there, you potentially become a stepping stone, a setup for for a guy, and you never want to be in that position when you're in the cage. Absolutely. Bet you he's looking to reverse that today. Most Ladies definitely. The following competition is in the 170-pound weight class. It is now time for your Warrior Extreme formal introductions. The following contest is being brought to you by Larry Flint's Hustle Club, home of our official after party tomorrow night, located on I-75 and Outer Drive. Introducing to you your fighters. First, starting with Man to My Right. Tonight, 
He was out of the GNC blue corner, coming to us in the white trunks. He stands in at 16 exactly, weighing 170 pounds of freestyle mixed martial arts, putting his 9 and 19 record on the line here tonight on behalf of Doug Jenkins, with the sponsor of Avacor. Put your hands together for Kevin the Shark Jaden. Yeah, come on, boys. This is to my left tonight. He is out of the red Larry Flint's Hustler Club corner, coming to us in the white trucks, dripped in RBCA black. He stands in at 6 feet, also weighing 170 pounds of freestyle mixed martial arts, putting his three win record on the line here tonight on behalf of MTC. Alex and Joe, put your hands together for Damian, pretty boy, Norris. Yeah. Say hello to the lovely Kayla Wall. She makes her way around for round one action. And this professional mixed martial arts fight, your referee in charge is Mr. Mike Valetti. We're pro, Harley. That's it. Both in white trunks with black trim, but the mohawk belongs to Kevin in the blue corner. And you can obviously check out those gloves. Southpaw stands from Damian Norris. Yeah, North looks real relaxed. Yeah, no stress on his face. And, you know, he's looking at quick takedown nice here take and down. getting on top and doing some work. Looking for a can opener potentially. Looks like Norris wants to bang. Yeah, surprised he took him down, but. Ooh, Ooh nice, nice body, body shot. shot. Norris with a lot of power, man. Yeah, Kevin was not too excited about that exchange, but he's still in there. That one was from all. That was the thing. That was from Chicago. Yeah, it's from his back <laughs> pocket. That's for sure. That's probably how he has his wins. Some surprising KOs there, you know. This is not a good spot no. to be in. Oh. Looks like a deep guillotine. Yeah, it looks pretty deep. I believe. That is that is all she wrote. That's a quick tap. Yeah, Norris. I, I, Norris, you know, I'm sorry, Harley. Yeah, I was going to say, Norris almost looked like he almost changed his mind about that one. Uh, but, yeah, this this one is in the books. That's the first fight of the night. And, uh, and uh, Norris improves the 4-0, man. Another uh, impressive uh, victory, first-round finish. A yeah. uh, guy's got a career going in the right places, whereas Jaden, uh, you know, he's got to go back to the drawing board and ask himself uh, what needs to change uh, in order for me to get on the, you know, the right end of this uh, win column. I can answer that question for you. That kid has talent. You can see it on him when he moves. Uh, but, but, you know, his, his gym is independent. And if there's one thing I can tell a fighter, whether you're pro or amateur, get with a strong gym. Make sure that your training camp is harder than you fight. That, I mean, that's, that's, that's the one thing I can say. And I guarantee you, as you see tonight's cart unfold, you're going to see this statement come true over and over again. Yeah, definitely. Um, from top to bottom, um, some of the toughest guy, guys on this card, day in and day out, they're training with absolute killers. And when you're training with absolute killers, like you said, the toughest, the toughest time is going to be at, during camp. Mr. Norris, while we have you inside the winner's circle here, if there's anybody that you'd like to thank for coming out on top today, had one more victory to that list. Congratulations. That's over here at the Ken Cam. Please tell us how you're feeling. Thank you to all the fans. You know, five hours away because I come out here. I heard that you guys had a flood, and I hope everybody that dealt with the flood in the Detroit area, I hope all you guys are doing good. This fight goes out to you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your winner. 